Hi, okay, so let's see if I can explain dithering in a matter of, let's say, a couple of minutes. When you reduce the bit depth of an audio file down from, say, 24 to 16, you will create quantization noise artifacts that are undesirable. And what dithering does is introduce noise, random noise, before the actual quantizing to scatter or to m mask that quantization error. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Here we have a 16-bit file of a sine wave at 440 hertz. Here we have that same sine wave reduced to 8 bits. Can you hear the artifacts? Okay, um, let me, what I'm going to do now is copy the 16-bit one and merge the 16-bit one with the 8-bit one and invert it so all you hear is the noise. Can you hear that? And that is the quantization error noise and what you're doing when dithering is trying to mask that okay so let's look at the waveform and that's what we're trying to mask that so dithering is meant to get rid of that okay as you can see you wouldn't want that in your tracks as you see though I've just normalized it but it's there um, and it's audible. Okay, so what does dithering do? It, as I said, it masks that uh, quantization artifacts. And what are the different types of dithering? So my friend asked me, what's the difference between all the dithering in logic? They're just different types of noise, um, with some with filters, um, some with non flat spectrums, some with flat spectrums. So Let's listen to the different types of noise. See the first noise? Sounds like a filtered white noise. Clear. Not necessarily filtered, but the different shaped noises. So that's what it does. Without the noise? the noise as the noise to just mask you see that doesn't sound as jarring as that and there you go that's dithering for deeper understanding of it I truly recommend that you read books about Nyquist theorem uh, bit depth and sample rate um, but this is trying to just explain it very quickly um, for you guys out there. Do I recommend using it? Yeah. In dance music, you can. I, I personally can't tell the difference. However, if you're doing classical or acoustic, then definitely yes. Um, especially if you're making music for audiophile playback, because um, you'll be able to definitely hear it on a half-decent system. So there you go. But if you're listening to Hardwell or Steve Aoki or all the other stuff then no you're not going to hear it at all because there's lots of white noise and everything in the tracks anyway so anyway there you go any questions let me know take care bye